a new look, ITV Lunchtime News, at its regular time of 12.30. Our evening news programmes on ITV will be moving to new times. Trevor MacDonald will be presenting the new half-hour ITV Evening News at 6.30 and Dermot um, Murnahan will be presenting the new ITV Nightly News at 11pm. That's the new look lineup for ITN programmes every weekday from next Sunday. The main news is the murder of four British tourists in Uganda. That's Tuesday's early evening news until 5.40 tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good evening. Straight away, let's put our weather in context here. And our Met Office satellite picture shows a whole pile of cloud lurking around. Still some rain on the scene for the moment, but that'll move away eastwards. Showery, brighter weather tucking in behind. And as indicated here by our Met Office wind flow chart, rather tightly packed isopause, indicating a very windy night in the offing, and the same goes for during the day tomorrow. So on to the actual detail for tonight now. Rain around for the moment, but that will move away eastwards. Still got a fair number of showers out there to the west, particularly heavy in places like Wales tonight, one or two rather hefty bursts. Now, inland Scotland, clear skies and some touches of frost. The wind's the main thing tonight, up to gale force from time to time, with the southwest there catching the worst of it. So we go into tomorrow morning, and the very best of the brightness reserved for the eastern fringes of the country. We've still got a number of showers out there to the west. In fact, they could crop up anywhere at all, one or two of them filtering through. Wintry nature on the higher ground there in the northwest. In Scotland, generally more cloud around and more prolonged rain as well. Now, temperatures are smidging down on today's values, a high of around 9 or 10 in the south. 9 is 48 in Fahrenheit, but once again, Bear in mind that wind, especially strong there in that southwestern corner. Now, a quick look ahead to Thursday's weather. Looking like this, a band of rain more or less slicing the country. Bright weather ahead of it in the uh, southeast. Brighter, showery weather behind it. The wind's the main thing, switching direction to become a northerly, and so as a result, much cooler temperatures. That's all from me. Here's the summary. Power Gen. Power, whatever the weather. the best Formula One drivers of all time. In the pressure and glamour of the Formula One circuit, only the great can reach the pinnacle of their sport. These are my heroes. Join Murray Walker as he counts down his top ten racing heroes. See if your favourite drivers match mine. Wednesday, 10.55. What's new at 10? Do you play hockey, Grimley? No, sir. Do you fancy Dolly Osmond? No, sir. Yes, you do, Grimley. Because only girls want to be in a school play. Oh. Nigel Planer, Noddy Holder and Brian Connolly star in The Grimleys. New at 10.30, Monday. Driving Ambition, a season with Eddie Jordan tonight, 10.40 ITV. From Monday, the 8th of March... ITV's national news is changing times. At 6.30, Trevor McDonald. The top stories from the top team. At 11 o'clock, Dermot Murnahan. Meridian Tonight stays at the regular time of 6 o'clock. New times for the national news from the 8th of March. Haven't and the Isle of Wight get visits from the surprise chefs later at 6.30. This is Meridian Tonight. Fighting for justice, the hit-and-run victim whose life has been ruined. It makes me very angry, like, what if I'd have been the kid? You know, would he have stopped then if I was walking across that road? An insult or the right approach. Divided views over police plans to improve race relations. Close to a medical breakthrough, new hope for thousands of Alzheimer sufferers. It's something that we've got to have hope for in the future, because it's all of our future. Pleased to meet you. I hope you get my name. And pop stars of the future, the students on course for fame and fortune. Good evening, I'm Fred Dynage. And I'm Natasha Gaplinski. 
A young mother to I'm Natasha Kaplinsky on Meridian News in half an hour. An emotional appeal from a young mother whose life was ruined by a hit and run driver. For the full story, join us after the news from ITN. Trevor MacDonald. Horror stories from the jungle where Britons were murdered. Pressure mounts for another interest rate cut tomorrow. Scramble to survive as Brazil's streets become rivers. Astonishing confession from the player Beckham kicked. And playing the straight man, Lenny Henry is honoured by the Queen. Good evening, the news ahead on news at 10 tonight including the package tours to Europe designed to help British drivers buy cheaper cars. It was the storm that tore a nation apart. What hope for Honduras four months after Hurricane Mitch? What Argentina's Simeone said today about that defining moment in World Cup 98 and how the Queen honored Lenny Henry for a life's work in comedy. I said oh we've been waiting for you. It's kind of what? But it was really nice. Very firm handshake. Welcome back. The first Henry revealed what the Queen had said to him. She was very pleased that Comic Relief was back and that uh, she was aware that we'd made a lot of money. And uh, she said, oh, we've been waiting for you. It's kind of what? But it was really nice. Very firm handshake. Lenny said he only wished his late mother could have been there. She'd have loved the day out at Buckingham Palace. Sue Saville, News at 10. And a quick reminder that from Monday, our news programmes here on ITV are changing. John Suchet and Julia Somerville will present a new look ITV lunchtime news at 12.30. I'll be presenting the new half-hour ITV evening news at 6.30. And there'll be an ITV nightly news at 11 with Dermot Murnaghan. That's the new ITN News and ITV beginning next Monday. That's news at 10 tonight. From all of us here, good night. Good evening. Straight away putting our weather in context. Turn into our Met Office satellite and wind flow charts combined here. And we can see rather tightly packed isobars indicating, as you'd expect, strong winds. And that holds good for tonight as well as tomorrow. So let's confirm those winds straight away on tonight's actual weather chart. Gale force winds from time to time with a southwest taking the full force of those winds. Otherwise, it's a case of the rain around gradually moving off the scene. Some showers out there to the west. And then dipping temperatures in Scotland, inland at least, with touches of frost. So we go into tomorrow morning, the very best of the brightness reserved for the eastern side of the country. Again, a showery scene out to the west, although having said that, one or two showers could crop up virtually anywhere at all. Wintry in nature on the higher ground there in the northwest. More general cloud across Scotland, as well as more prolonged rain here. Temperatures down a touch on today's values, a high of 9 or 10, and the wind making it feel cooler. Bear in mind, strong winds once again for the south. Now, a quick look ahead to Thursday's weather. Rain slice in the country, brighter behind as well as ahead of it. The main thing is the wind switching direction, cooler temperatures as a result. Power, Jen. Power, whatever the weather. <laughs> <laughs>